crazy family and today is the day you've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not. But it's a day that Savannah's been waiting for. So she turned 16 a couple months ago and a lot of you are like, why haven't you surprised her with a car? Where's her car? And I'm like, it's coming guys. We're just trying to find the right one. And she's honestly been really happy with the Camry and enjoying driving it. But as you guys know, the air isn't working in half the car, but it is in the other half. We've been trying to figure that out. Now her check engine light came on last night and I'm like, okay, it is time. Some of you know me so well and I saw some of the comments when I was asking Savannah, like what's her dream car? What car would she want right now? Like I was asking and I saw some of your comments like, oh, is Crystal fishing? Yes, I was fishing for some cars. So we're gonna look for a Honda Civic because that is like, the car she really, really wants. Um, but if not right now, that'll be a future car for her. We'll just see what'll be the best one for her right now. So we're kind of double, double shopping today. Tristan has been looking for a truck. And so he's kind of looking around at trucks right now too. So he might be getting something. Okay. So I've actually wanted a Toyota Tacoma forever. So literally it's been a truck that like I've seen on the road since I was like 15, like same thing with my motorcycle. So I'm trying to like see if I can make like the duo dream car, dream, or I'm sorry, dream truck and dream bike. We're gonna see. Savannah was mentioning last night, maybe a Jeep. These are kind of cute. The dealership we're at has, I don't know, over like 120 cars. So we've been on the computer browsing, which is much nicer than walking around in the sun. That is nice. But I think we found the car. We're gonna go test drive it right now. The guy's pulling it up and I'm really excited to see it. Um, but it's not a Honda Civic, but it is a Honda, which is she loves. Uh, it's Honda Accord and here's, here's what it looks like in the, but. It has the backup camera, which is what she's really wanting. And it has all the features that I just think, I think she'll love it. Like I think it'll be her dream right now car. I used to own an Accord and it was like one of my favorite cars ever. So I think it's a good choice. Look okay, here it is. It's cute. So it is only two door. Okay, so <laughs> I was hoping this was the perfect car, but now looking at it and like getting in it, look at this. It's like broken up there. And then on here, it's all broken and like coming off. And this is definitely not it. The guy was gonna go get us the test plate to give it a test drive, but I don't even think I need to do that. Back to the drawing board. Dang it though. The outside is cute. You guys can't see it. Um, let's see if you can see. see. Do you see it There though? used to be a Pokemon sticker. You could tell it like kind of messed with the paint. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it in camera. All right, we're test driving our first car. This is a, I don't know what we're in. What are we in? A Honda Accord Civic? Oh, we're in a Honda Civic! <laughs> Anyways, it has cool features. It's bright red though, which I don't know if Savannah would love it. I think she'll love it though, because she said she'd want a pink Jeep. And it's kind of pinkish. I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, look at this feature. When you put your turn signal on, look. It shows you the side of your car. And it also has a backup camera. Oh, it's green. It feels, it has eco mode. So with all of her driving, it'll save on gas. That thing has pickup. This is in eco mode. That's an eco mode and it has that much pickup? Yeah, now now you go. Eco mode now? Yeah. I think I got a vendetta. Oh now they call me, I seen them. All of those times getting seven. I told them I get left. It has like carbon fiber. It is a nice car. Sorry if it's loud in here guys. It's hot and I have the air on full blast. It has cold air. She'll love that. Are you gonna buy it the first place that you see? We need to look at a couple other places. I feel like we need a lot of options to pick like the perfect right now dream 16 car. 
but I do, this is high on my list. Here's kind of the red. It is really pretty. It's a pretty car. And it's the Civic that she wants. I really, really liked the Honda Civic, and then they drew up numbers, and I think they, I think they thought I was dumb and that I'd never bought a car before or something. You gotta be really careful at car dealerships. Honestly, I hate going because I feel like they try to screw you over. And I know how to look up Kelly Blue Book. I know what numbers I should be paying. And literally, I'm just gonna tell you the numbers. I'm gonna be honest with you. They were saying amount finance. So the car was 18,000 and then they add all this extra crap, right? 21,000 financed and it had 111,000 miles on that car. And I'm like, you know I could go buy a brand new one for 23,000, like 2,000 more. And the guy's like, well, prices are high right now. I can probably come down a couple and listen, we're just gonna, I walked away. I, I didn't get mean, but I just got a little stern. Like, I just felt like he was trying to screw me over and I'm not okay with that. So we are checking another dealership and hopefully we're gonna have good luck here. It has zipper windows. Yeah. Cause this whole top comes off. Uh, this whole, all of the... This is nice. I'm not gonna lie, I like this. It's a little rough around the edges, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I want something that's gonna get used and something that like, if someone comes in and they're like, hey, I scratched the car or whatever, it's like not a big deal. Like I, I would plan to take it off road. All right, we're gonna get Savannah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Three hours later and I'm still in the car. We're still driving around. We've been to how many dealerships at this one? Uh, this will be the fourth, uh, fifth one. Wait, sixth if we actually go in. Yeah, some of them we just drive around and we just, I just, we can't find a car for Savannah or Tristan that like makes sense, you know? And it's just like, you know when it just like falls into place and you're like, yeah, that's it. No. So we are on to the seventh dealership. Seven times the charm. Fingers crossed. And Savannah gets off work in one hour and I wanted to surprise her right as she came home from work and at this whole, I don't know if it's gonna work out. So we're trying, we're trying one more dealership. It's a 2007, so that like, that looks like something. All right. Okay. We found a- Potentially. Potential. Um, he keeps calling it taco, so now I wanna call it taco because <laughs> it's a Tacoma. Um, real quick, we did go by the Honda dealership and the Honda Civics that they had there were like even more expensive. They were like crazy priced. So um, yeah. And then I found, I found Savannah's dream car. It was a Honda Civic. It was like that blue color that she absolutely loves, but it had a salvaged title. All right, Tristan's driving a Tacoma. Do you like it? Yeah, it's it's nice. It, this one's the first gen, so this one's a 2007. It's definitely like a little beat up, but I, I want something that's gonna have some character, so I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Just the alignment's a little off the look. Yeah, look at this alignment, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he should wrap the car with his face I'm all gonna over it. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. People think I'm obnoxious now. Imagine when I roll up in a truck with my face on it. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Okay guys, I'm having some hope because Tristan just found a car he likes. Let's see if the numbers make sense first though because sometimes numbers don't make sense even though you like the car. You can't buy based on emotions when you're car shopping. And then um, also they have a Honda Accord. And it is so cute. It's sport, like the sport model. And I know Savannah would be obsessed. Like she would love this. So I still need to test drive it and make sure it's okay. But I think we're on the right track at this point. This is the closest we've been all day. <laughs> you're so focused. I'm excited, worried. I'm oh, like, I'm like, if the numbers I'm, don't make sense, then you're gonna make be sense. disappointed. If it doesn't make sense, I'll be disappointed again, but it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be optimistic. <laughs> yes, it's really nice though. Okay, you can see it's dark, we're back at home. No, we don't have a car. Carless. Oh yeah, that's a thumbs down. But no, they're actually gonna call us in the morning. The banks were closed and it was getting late and we were hungry. Uh, it, it, like, hangar had taken over 110%. I was done being there, so. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna call us in the morning and hopefully with goodness.
It is the next morning and I've been searching all last night. This has been quite the quest, probably one of the hardest car buys we've ever done. I don't know. Anyways, the place is not called quite yet, but I, I found a car last night that I feel like is her dream car. And it's a really great price. I've already called, it is available. I'm gonna go down and test drive it. <laughs> Fingers crossed this is the one. If not, the Honda Accord from yesterday is what we're gonna go with. But this is like even better than that one. So I'm hoping and praying that it works out. <gasps> oh, I think she'll cry. This is literally her dream car, guys. I know not the, I think it was like an RX or what, it's not that model of it, but look at this color. I don't even feel like the camera does it justice. It's like this really light bluish gray. It's gorgeous. Okay, numbers make sense, this is the one. Oh yeah, Aaron's with us today, woo! We're not sure how much Aaron's with us, but Aaron's with us. Aaron's <laughs> back, he's not sick anymore, guys. No, this air conditioner is the coolest air conditioner. Like the air that it blows is cool or? No, like the look oh, of it. look at this. That's yeah. sick. It's I've got never like a... seen that. Okay, wait, I'm gonna look at the back of the camera. I'm not, tell him I'm not moving, I'm she's just not, looking. She's not gonna move it, she wants to see the quality of the back of the camera. So it's pretty decent. It's better than the other one. Oh, nice, it has the top down view too. Aaron's back there <laughs> doing the floss. Did you get my dancing? I did get your dancing. Oh, I loved it. it. <laughs> it's got the, the seats that I actually like because the other seats are like the light ones and it's got like the dark door panels. Oh yeah, it's nice. Oh, I like that screen. Yeah, this is like modern in all of the ways that the other one wasn't. Okay, they solved the cup holder situation. Okay. Oh yeah, they did. I, I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> they only had one cup holder in the other truck we were looking uh, at. <laughs> ergonomics, I feel good. I'm a tall person. I got plenty of head, head room. It's a comfortable seat. Like it feels like. Uh, oh, I thought you were doing a U-turn. I'm just gonna grab. All right. What about power band? <laughs> Not as fast as that one. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I think it's super, super nice. Here's where we're at. We've done negotiations. We went and got tacos, the actual tacos. They were really good. Uh, and now we're back and I think we're making a deal. We're just waiting for them to print off all the paperwork and then we're gonna sign it. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Well, at least Tristan's. Tristan's has gone through. We're waiting on some numbers on Savannah's, so. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm trying not to be because it's been like this roller coaster of emotions, like getting super excited and then let down. So I'm like trying to stay like in the middle right now, but I am really excited. This is what, our ninth dealership? Yeah, this is the ninth dealership. Only counting dealerships that we went into, it would be our 11th dealership if you counted just driving through as well. Oh so it's been a trip, guys. Oh, he's gonna smolder. He took off the glass and- Oh yeah, just kidding. Okay, we're playing some car trivia while we're waiting in the car really quick. Out of all the cars that we've owned and like since the very beginning, what car has been my favorite? You should know this, Aaron. This is for 500 points. You mean the Cadillac Escalade? No. If you say the GTI, I'm gonna- No, it's not the GTI. Oh, I was like, dude, the if GTI you say the GTI. Not my... <laughs> it's my Tahoe. <laughs> Oh, I loved the, the Tahoe. Tahoe. The Tahoe has been my favorite car of all time that I've ever had, and I actually regret selling that, to be honest. It was a nice car. I loved that car. Really Everything nice about car. that car. I liked it better than the Escalade. Really? Which you wouldn't think I would say that, but I did. What's your car of choice? No kids. Like, this is in the future, post-kids, post-everything. What is your car of choice? Oh, okay, and you're first. So when you say no kids, that means I can get away with a two-seater? Correct. I'm changing, guys. I, everything about me is changing when it comes to, like, cars and what I want. Especially now that I've unlocked motorcycles, it's very different. Probably just the Tesla. I love Teslas. They are fun. They're enjoyable cars. In a way, those are kind of boring because you don't get the engine noise, you know what I mean? But, eh, you get past that pretty quick. Okay, so the car you currently have. 
car I currently have. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In the future, no kids, money's not an option. Now you choose the car you already own. Yep. I mean, that's probably goes to show you're living a pretty good life. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tristan? Uh, the car we're actually about to get right Oh, wow. Now. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Mine would be the Tahoe. I want my Tahoe back. <laughs> We're gonna you find buy a that Tahoe, Tahoe with no kids and no anything? And just... Yes! I loved the car that much. It's a good car, guys. Can I ask what you liked about that I car I don't so know. Much? Like, okay. This video Quanti brought to you by Chevy. Quanti <laughs> right? Quantify what you liked about that car. Here's the thing. As I wasn't excited when we first bought it, and I was kind of like, the brown interior, the just... I don't know. But it's not, it's not about the car. It was about the feeling of the car. It just had a good vibe. Like, have you ever gotten in a car and you're just like, the vibe is just right, you know? I get that. And I feel like my Tahoe just brought me joy. Like, when I got in it, I felt joy. And I know, so I don't even think it's about, like, the car or the type or the color I get. I don't know. It's just about a feeling. And I know that makes zero sense to most people, but to me it makes sense. I will say I've recently changed. I have I was really liking white cars and I like my car, obviously, but I do kind of miss a car with some color yeah did your tahoe bring or you're not your tahoe your tacoma bring you joy when you sat in it yes a lot it, it was more so like guilty pleasure because it was like is this actually gonna happen or is this just like are you just sitting inside someone else's car <laughs> <laughs> all right it is official <gasps> this is your new car I know, right? Honestly, it does not even feel real at all because, like I said, this is like my idealistic, like, dream car. So, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, are you going to start crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this, is this is gorgeous. Oh, compared to the ones that we went and looked at yesterday, too. Okay, See? oddly enough, I will say this. So I'd never seen the like the rims that are on this car ever. And then like yesterday, I almost got into a Tacoma at another dealership. And coincidentally, these ones have the exact same rims, so. And I feel like yesterday, nothing worked out because this was meant to be yours. I will go through the eight hours of frustration of yesterday again for this truck. This is crazy nice. Guys, I feel like I've been living in the car or in a dealership with cars for the past two days now. Um, it is, it's getting late and it's six o'clock and thankfully, um, I can't even think straight. Okay. So Tristan did end up getting his truck today. Um, don't start any rumors. He bought his truck all on his own. Like we're not, we did not buy him the truck. Otherwise I would have done a surprise. You know how I am. But anyways, we did end up getting Savannah's car and yeah, but we had to run over to the bank to get the check. And now we have the check, but it's already six o'clock. Sunset is at 630. The place is closing. And I'm like, I, this is too much stress for one night. So, um, we are going to do this again tomorrow. <laughs> no, tomorrow morning we're going to go in, sign all the fire, find final paperwork, and then we're going to get her car, and then we're going to surprise her. It's going to be a big surprise, and this better be good because it's taken me three days to figure all this out, but this has been the hardest car buying experience of my life. I don't know why. Right, Erin? Right. <laughs> Okay, we are headed home. We're going to do dinner with the kids, and I will see you guys in the morning. Be glad you're watching this edited down, because if you went through this <laughs> whole experience with me, you would be just as tired as I am. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Day three. <laughs> Finding Savannah's dream car. We have it. We are going in to sign paperwork right now. She gets off school in one hour and we are going to do the surprise. I'm so excited to get her reaction. And I've been trying to think of like some creative way to like, I don't know, surprise her with it. And I think we're going to just like wrap it like in wrapping paper. We'll see. We have picked up the car, we are back at home. Savannah will be home in about 15, 20 minutes, so we're making good time. Um, but I decided, cause I think she, like literally guys, this is a Honda Civic. This is her dream car and it's in the perfect color. It's like a baby bluish gray, which she is gonna be 
obsessed with. So I thought, I think it would be really fun to wrap it in wrapping paper. And, and then she'll have to open it so the color can be revealed. So I'm really excited. We're gonna go wrap it right now. I wonder how much wrapping paper I need. Five, 10, 15 rolls. No, it won't take that much. It's a little car. Um, All right, mom. Okay, what's going on? We are back with the car and we need to wrap it with wrapping paper. Oh, that's so exciting. All right, Mark, Bryson, can you guys come help? Yep. Okay. We're wrapping a car in wrapping paper. The whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And we only have 15 minutes. My heart is full of hope. I'm on my way and I won't ever stop. guys. That was actually record wrapping. It's faster than wrapping Christmas presents. Okay, so she is about eight minutes away at this point and I'm so excited to see her reaction. I also love that you can't even tell what type of car it is. No. You can't, it just, it's just there. She was happy with the Camry and she was like, I'm happy driving this, like we're good. Like she's just so down to earth and just appreciates every little thing that she gets. And so for her to get her dream car, it's a dream come true. Freaking go, like excited. Yeah. You've never heard like, like let's that? Let's go, yeah. That's what yeah. I tell my dog every morning, let's go out the door. It's a little different. <laughs> it's like more like a high fee, like oh. usually it's said with a swear word in between that I censored no. out for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? So Tristan's like, let's go, like kind of thing. And my mom's like, where are we going? <laughs> She's like, you know, when you say your dog, let's go. Like, then Tristan was trying to explain it's just the same. So anyway, she was pulling up right now. We were gonna put Bryson in the garage to so get her face reaction. So I was trying to think how to surprise her, and I'm like, do I do a little game? Do we do a little whatever? But Savannah just loves. I mean heartfelt, sentimental moments. So I'm just gonna tell her how much she means to me. And then I have this bag. It's actually from Lip Lab. And it's where we made our lip glosses together and like our lipsticks. And so she's gonna think that I just went and got her a custom lipstick. And, but she has no idea that the keys are inside. So I'm just gonna open this and then we'll take her into the garage and show her her new car. All right, Savannah just pulled up a little ways away. She can't quite hear me because she's still in her car. Um, but I'm acting like I'm filming outside and that I got her like a little surprise. So she'll, she'll have no idea. Oh, we got Bella too. We got home at the same time today. <laughs> she looks worried. Why do you look worried? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just seeing how your day is. You're seeing how your day is, Bella. I missed you. Hi! Hi! What are you doing? Cleaning my car. Cleaning your car out? Yeah. <laughs> I ate food in here on my way to work the other day. Oh, gotcha. That's good. You're keeping your car clean? I'm trying. I got you a surprise today. It's behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll go inside though. Okay, let's go. So I got you something at the mall today. You did it in. Do you know where this is? Oh, the lip gloss? Yeah. So I made you something that's in here. But I just want to tell you how much I love you and how proud I am of you and how responsible you are and just, yeah, I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Okay, come over here. Don't open the lip stuff yet. 
We have to go out to Lucas's room really fast. But when we were together, time slowed down. And we didn't have forever, but I didn't mind whenever you. We haven't even seen the car yet. <laughs> oh. past two years, this is the only car I've been talking about. The color, the model, everything about it, I love so much. Aww. You're welcome. We love you. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. We're going to be so successful in life. Okay, so man, open the door and sit and see it. Show Aubrey because it's <laughs> well, I mean, uh, there's been so many conversations about this. Oh, I just did my makeup at school too. I got <laughs> all ready at school. It's like <laughs> her hair is all bad. It's like new today. So for the waterproof mascara. For the past three days, I've been like frustrated and upset. And, like, should I just not do this? Should I just? I don't know. You know, because it's like really frustrating shopping at that many dealerships and trying to find the best deal and the best car for her and seeing her reaction and seeing her smile and just I can't even begin to describe I'm just it's all worth it it's all worth it and all of the frustration was so worth it to see her so happy So cute. So nice. Wait. Wait. Are you still in shock? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't think I'm going to be able to say that enough, but thank you. I really appreciate it. When I saw this color, I was like, that's it? That's the one? Yeah, this is the exact color. It's Everything so about cute. This is just so perfect. A while back, you might remember when I went to the pavilions with Lexi and her dad. Yeah, yeah. And I came home and told you, okay, this is the car that I saw there. And I took a picture of it because I love it so much. And that was like a year ago? Two years ago? That was December 2nd of 20... 2023. 2023. So almost a year ago, she took a picture of this exact car. Aww. At a car meet. Yeah. At a car meet. That's... Yeah. I did not know that. And she took a picture. She put it out there. And you it put came. it out there in the universe and manifested <laughs> it. Oh, I've been manifesting this since too long. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. I know I say this in a lot of videos, but there are so many teens and so many good kids that just have gotten dealt a bad hand and gotten put in foster care or put to just go through things that you can't even imagine. So if it's in your heart to help one of these kids or to do foster care or even just be a mentor in some type of way, like, I promise you it's worth it.